After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I guess what I like most about this job is not only my coworkers, but the different array of people that come in the door on a daily basis. Everybody that comes in here has a different behavior, and the behaviors are challenging not only to me, but they're challenging to my staff members. These people are the people that normal people don't want to deal with. They're the people that we love to deal with. That's why we choose the job that we choose. Take your shoes off. Take your shoes off right now. You know what? You need to calm down right now. You got it? Take his coat off. Hang on, Rick. What's his problem? He was going to release. So you were going to release and you blew it. What's that about? Huh? You don't want to go home? Is that the deal? Yeah, I do. Then why did you do that? Because I thought I was going upstairs and you didn't call me. All you got to do in here is listen to what people say and behave and you get out of here. And you screwed that up. Now you're going to be here for a couple more hours because you screwed that up. You screw it up again and I'll find a way for you to stay. You understand that? Thanks, Hicks. He's been sitting in the chairs for quite a while. He's on our release list and he saw that last group of guys going to housing. All of them. And he thought they were getting out of here before him again. And, he's and then that's when we locked him up against the wall so we wouldn't him, hurt anybody. All right. He just prolonged his visit. He's going to be here for a couple more hours. Yep. Your head there, bud. I heard about you. Are you the Corvette speeder? What'd you do? In a pursuit. In a Corvette? Yeah. yeah. Is it total? Yeah. Wow. Why don't you put these down? <laughs> Wait, can you take that off? Yes, sir. Hey, that's a Rolex. Be easy on that, would you? I won't even touch it. Just slide it over to him. He was in a his little red Corvette, brand new 2007 red Corvette. Yeah, yeah, sir eluding the police department for about 15 minutes. He finally ended up crashing and totaling that 2007 Corvette. So not only is he going to have the fines from the Dewey, he's going to have to replace his entire car. So who knows, he might have to hawk that Rolex he just put on the counter to pay for that car he just totaled. And hopefully he didn't kill anybody tonight. Hey, William, did you kill anybody tonight? No, because I stopped in the intersections on no. running around. I didn't run red lights. OK. Run in place. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need help. Go but get help. I got to make the money to keep my big thing going on so I don't have time to go to rehab. Well, you got to figure it out. I know, I know. I, you, you know, I know what You're going to run out of cars pretty soon. No, i kill somebody like the lady said. Yeah, and then you won't leave. No. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. I mean, you may have totaled the car, but you could have totaled the person. I understand. Right. I talked to every light. I did. I wasn't going like those crazy bastards in California. On the show. I stopped at lights. I did. They were way back. You guys were right back behind me, so I couldn't stop at the lights. It's not fun, but I did. I wasn't going to blow through a light 80 miles down and T-bone some poor family and kill them. Wipe your hand off. Go have a seat by your coat or sweatshirt. You can talk guys here in Multnomah right County are very nice gentlemen and ladies. Well, thank you for coming. I don't want to come back. OK, have a seat. Gentlemen. The officer said that your car is done. It's totaled. Brand new 2007 total. Do you have kids? I got a Corvette and a fan. Had a Corvette. Had a Corvette. I'll get another one. Don't you worry about it. Oh, I'm just a I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. You need to make some changes. What am I going to do, though? What the hell? Go out and do it again and kill somebody next time? Put your feet down, please. I, I might. It might happen. I don't know. 
I, it yeah. might happen, so you're saying that you're okay with going out and drinking and driving again? No, I don't drink. Possibly I don't want to. No, hell no, hell no. Hell no. I don't okay. never want to do that. Then don't drink and drive. You think I get off on all that junk if I went to treatment? I bet. Probably not. Not all of it. Some of it, though. It'd be the best for everybody, though. Best interest for everybody. How about just you? And me. But the society. Society. I'm about done listening to your problems, okay? So do me a favor and just sit there and be quiet right now. Absolutely, All right? Man. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm sorry. He's going to go to court in about 30 days. He's going to get an expensive attorney and probably fight the charges. And uh, it'll be up to a jury or a judge to determine what's going to happen to him in the end. I've been here approximately 10 years at the Orange County Jail. On a daily basis, you're dealing with hundreds of people not knowing what they're here for. One minute you could be dealing with someone who's just in here for DUI. They just want to go home back to their family, whatever. The next person you deal with is someone that just killed someone out on the street corner. You don't know what to expect. Hey, what's going on? What's going on, sir? What do you guys get? Nathan, come on out of the car. So what's going on, Nathan? What's going on over here, Jason? Hey, you want to get phone calls, Nathan? You're, 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 you're off the wall, and you're off the balls, castrating yourself, masturbating with hating. Yo, my name's Nathan. You're a rapper, Nathan? What would it matter? You got the rhymes going on? Me, I'm a relative of you. We're all brothers in this earth. But what is the earth? It's part of the universe, and it's all given birth by the Big Bang. Boom! Oh, look, he's laughing. So you, he's in for vandalism? Yeah, he uh, basically vandalized his mother's uh, screen door. Absolutely not. Stop lying. Initially what did she call for? Initially, he was on the roof threatening to ride his bicycle into the pool. So. How, would I, how would I ride my bicycle from the roof to the pool? Hey, it's been done before. By who? Evil Knievel? He responded a lot of times to his residence. Uh, Tonight or? Well, within the last two weeks. Okay. He's, he's, he's so been up on the roof. Why is it that your mom called? He, she wanted me to get off the roof. His mom, she's 20 years old. His mom doesn't want him right there anymore. She's 20 years old? You're 20 years old. Your mom doesn't want you in the house anymore. I was, I'm not in the house. keep coming I back. I wasn't in the house. No, but you're at the house. I tried to force her to do a restraining order, didn't you? Why didn't she do the restraining order, officer? Why does she keep calling us about you? Because you keep coming. Because I'm called. Um, so I'm, stop coming. All right, this way. Use your inside voice. No, First Amendment. No, you be quiet. No, uh, First Amendment. You can be quiet. You be quiet. You have a seat for me. Take your shoes off. If you don't pay attention, logic and psychology. I was tutoring. Take your shoes my off. Mom, I am. I can walk and take off my shoes at the same time. Hand me your shoe. My mom called the police. I got fired from my job because my mom put me in a mental hospital. My mom got me fired and I ended up on the streets. I got suspended by a criminal justice professor when I was homeless and I wanted to sit in on the class and learn. Nathan, stand up, follow the blue line. <sighs> stay, 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 on the line. stay right on the line, okay. okay? I have to shuffle and not lift my feet up. Yeah, there. that'll work. Okay, stand on this blue X right here, face the machine. This is kind of cool. It's gonna blow your mind. I'm autistic. Are you? Yes. So what's going on with the situation at home? There's got to be a reason why she won't let you stay at home. My mom's scared of something. What do you think she's scared of? Everything. Including you? No. Everything but me, I guess, is, is what I'm but, saying. OK, she's not letting you stay there because, she, because she's scared, but she's not scared of you. Yeah. I think I'd be scared of you and be fine with everything else. Well, that's what you're trained to do. Be scared of the criminals. Walk this way. She's doing experiments with me. Experiments with you. How? Open you're up. hurting this hand. You're hurting my right hand. Open How up. am I hurting your hand? With Open. your other hand. All right, Nathan, have a seat. We'll be back with you in a little bit. Uh, seems like he uh, vandalized his mother's front door. She also has a restraining order on him. He uh, appears to be a little on the mental side. And uh, he will be seen, I'm sure, momentarily by our mental staff, and further evaluations will be done at that time.
You ready to interview him? Yes. All right. Nathan, right? Yeah. Move your shoe. All right, just have a seat there. Nathan, my name is Susan. I'm with Mental Health. Hi. So why are you here? My mom called. Your mom called. What was the reason? She called because I was on this. I was on the roof of our carport on top of the ladder. Okay. So do you ever hear voices that other people don't hear? All the time. All the time. So what are the voices saying to you? Let my people go. Are they singing to you? Yeah, I'm singing to myself. I'm not schizophrenic. I just sing to myself. Okay. So did they diagnose you with schizophrenia? Never. No. Okay. So where are you living now? I'm homeless. Okay. Thanks. Since he's homeless, has no place to go, and obviously isn't doing too well on the street, I'll send him over to EGS. Okay, sounds good. So that, you know, at least we know that he's going to be safe for the rest of the night. Our mental health uh, has called for an uh, ambulance to transport Nathan here to uh, uh, ETS, which is a mental health hospital, where he'll be evaluated for a 72-hour period. Hey, Nathan, step on out. You don't need to put me in restraints. Right Let's see. They can tell you I haven't been violent or physically. Oh, look, restraints. No, these are just, just company policy. Belts. They're just seatbelts. You're going to ETS, which is a psychiatric hospital, and they'll evaluate you over You're a there. Doctor, right? No, I'm a nurse. Oh, I love nurses. I love doctors. I like, I like, I really do love everyone. But I'm not crazy. All right, we're gonna get you out of here. Jail in Hillsborough County, Tampa, Florida. Here is Central Booking. It's an open setting where all males and females gather together at one point and they go from place to place like intake, they go to property, they go to fingerprints and medical. Everybody's given a chance to act like human beings when they come in here, regardless of what they've done on the outside. I like to call that a self-fulfilling prophecy. They're given a chance to be together with everybody else to get to this process. If you show a problem, that you're not able to do what you're supposed to do and you can't function with everybody else, you end up in one of the holding cells for a little while. Last year we booked about 202 people a day and only one time we had to use a restraint chair on those folks, which shows that the self-fulfilling prophecy works and that's what direct supervision is successful in this jail. We're going out in the sally port. We have a, um, a female that's spitting. As she's being transported, so we're gonna go out and put a spit mask on her face to make sure that she doesn't spit on anybody. Hmm? This little one right here. Which one? Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on out. Hmm? Oh, no, don't you stop that. No way. Hey, you're not gonna suffocate me. Nobody's not suffocating me. Yes, you are. You're just trying to suffocate me, man. No, this goes hey. on your head. I, I'm not resisting anything. It ain't about you resisting. You're spitting and this goes no, on your head. I'm not spitting anything, man. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. Let your head go. Let your head go. Let your head go. Let your head go. Hey, you have a little cancer? Let go. It's not gonna kill me. Well, nobody's gonna kill you. Yes, That's you to keep you from spitting. I'm not spitting anything. Get out. Thank you. 
keep your feet down, do not move them, understand? Yes. It hurts, but you know what? I'm tough. That's all right. This is my first arrest, baby. This is my first, you know, thinking over her. This is the important part. Do not bang on this glass, do not bang on the door, do not holler for us. Yeah, Listen to me. Yes, sir. Yes, You're going to stand here until you calm down. So she'll sit in a holding cell until she calmed down, then we'll take her out and see if she can make it through the rest of the process. Yeah. We're going to want her to talk to her and see how she, uh, see if she's calmed down any. get all kinds in here and we never know from one person to the next who's on what type of medication right. what type of medical conditions they have we have to be ready and we have to know about everything and i'm already dying of damn heart conditions yeah well don't thin up on me and that won't happen you understand that yeah i got you okay take your shoes off just step out of it man this is yeah amazing. step in there and shut your mouth <laughs> he, she's trying to process him. He doesn't want to take. He's giving her mouth, giving her lip. You don't have to use that tone with me. I don't fly here. You don't tell people here what to do. been in the holding cell now for a couple of hours. We'll go ahead and let her out and uh, try to get her through the process. The majority of the time, they're fine. They calm down, they start to sober up. All right, Miss Kimberly, I'm gonna have you sit in these chairs. I'm gonna let them know you're out of the holding cell so you can get through this process and get out of here. She was able to come down for us. She, uh, she was polite and calm. We went to talk to her, so we let her out. She did good. Let's talk. We're chit-chatting with him. Oh, we're chit-chatting? We're just in case. At one point out of the blue, he just started banging on the glass pretty aggressively. So got our attention pretty quickly. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. You guys need to give me my medicine or I'm a freak out. I take an antipsychotic for a reason. I have bipolar and I have OCD. I need my Seroquel. My Seroquel is what keeps me calm. I'm not trying to be a well, I know you guys think I'm trying to be a I just need my medicine. It's time for my medicine. I'm gonna take you out of here. I'm gonna take you over to the nurse and have them spring you. Okay, I'm understanding you need medication, we're gonna try to help you out. Okay. But, That's all I'm asking. Okay. But you got to understand that you can't be acting out like that. That's why you got in here in the first place. That's also why I take medication. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt that if he is on these meds, he needs these meds, let's get him medically screened and find out what's going on with him. It looked like he was going to have to get hands on with this guy and put him in the chair, but all he was just he needed medication. And once he came to medical and talked to medical personnel, he got all better quick.
and the doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride now the night hits my face and it brings me to life oh lord now i'm out that jail tonight another night in my street another night in my hair now i'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight i'm gonna go home to my family tonight and the doors open up and they leave me outside i'm gonna go home to my family tonight